I have here a piece of paper as someone once said. Um, in fact I've got a few pieces of paper and um, this is what we've got. The Royal Enfield Redditch Works Instruction and Maintenance Manual for the 350 and 500 bullet machines. And um, I'm going to be taking a look at the timing, ignition timing, and um, compare the degrees before top dead centre with the vertical movement of the piston in uh, what I'll convert into millimetres. And we'll start off, now interestingly enough, here's the 350 bullet, 1956 onwards, clipper, trials, etc. And um, when we come down here, we've got the uh, figures for both contact breaker, coil ignition and magneto. Right, and in both cases, it says timing, half inch, down to seven sixteenths of an inch before top dead centre, whether you've got uh, coil and battery or magneto. So um, there's the numbers, they're the same regardless of what type of ignition you've got. Seven sixteenths up to a half an inch before top dead centre. And over the page, we got the figures for the 500, 1956 onwards. And again, we got magneto and we got contact breaker ignition. Figures for both, and these again will be at full advance, a 5 sixteenths of an inch before top dead centre for the 500. So the 500 runs a little more retarded than the 350 would have done. But they are the figures from the factory. No argument about those. And what I've done on this piece of paper here is I've written the figures down and I've converted them to millimetres first of all, so that I could set up this uh, dial gauge which... Uh, one revolution of the clock face is equal to one millimetre and I can measure back the engine up from top dead centre where it's at now and I'll be able to back it up by the given amount and see how many degrees it is. So um, for the 500, 5 sixteenths of an inch, give or take a couple of thou is eight millimetres. Okay, and I've already discovered and worked out that it's 35 degrees before top dead centre. Um, the 350 is a little more difficult in that half an, well, half an inch is 12.5 millimetres, give or take a couple of thou. 7 sixteenths is 11 millimetres and um, my dial gauge only just goes beyond 10.5 millimetres um, from minimum to maximum. So it hasn't quite got the range to um, demonstrate these two in one go, but I've already done it in steps and um, adjustments of the dial gauge position over the piston and I've been able to determine that the half inch or 12 and a half millimetre figure is 45 degrees before top dead centre. The 7 sixteenths or 11 millimetre figure is 40 degrees before top dead centre. So the 350 runs 5 to 10 degrees more advanced than the 500 according to the Redditch technical information there. And what we're going to do now, we've got the degree wheel on here and it's set up with the zero pointing at the slot in that screw that I put in where the timing cover lives and I've got the piston topped out and I've got the gauge there reading zero. So I'm going to back the engine up eight millimetres now and we'll demonstrate how many degrees that is. I mean, we already know, I, I already know it's 35, but here we are, just to demonstrate it, here we go. One millimetre, two millimetres, three millimetres, four millimetres, five millimetres, six, seven, eight millimetres before top dead centre. Excuse my shakes. It's difficult to hold the camera and spin the crank between the fingers and thumb, but there we are. We're eight millimetres backed up before top dead centre now for the full advance figure. And there we are. And actually, that's just a gnats under 35 degrees before top dead centre there. I think I might have to amend my paperwork there a little 
I think it's more like about 33 degrees before top dead centre. Um, but uh, that demonstrates converting millimetres into uh, degrees. Bring it back up to the top again. It's only there for a moment. And here we are, back on the zero, the top dead centre. Like I say, I can't really do that for the um, figures for the 350 because my gauge only goes up to about 10.6 millimetres of stroke. I can take it that far and we'll see how close we are to the figure for uh, 7 sixteenths. I can say I'll get about 10.6 millimetres rather than the 11. So we'll probably be just shy of 40 degrees at that point. Let's give it a go and see what happens. Back it up and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten and a half there. Ten point five millimeters. See at ten and three quarters we lose contact. So take it back to the ten and a half which is there so we're 10.5 millimeters before top dead center there and we're just a whisker under 40 degrees on the degree wheel um, probably about 38 so by the time we get that last 0.5 of a millimeter let's see if I can just tweak this a little Press it down, get it to naught, maybe. And back it up that half again, that'll give us the 11 millimetres. Right, that's 11 millimetres before top dead centre. And there we are, we're 40 degrees there before top dead centre. Perhaps a very slight whisker under. But they are the actual figures. So we are 11 millimetres before top dead centre there. And that's what the degree wheel is giving us. I would say 38, 39 millimetres, uh, degrees, sorry, 38 or 39 degrees before top. Um, so I've got 40 written there. I think as a maximum figure, 45 and 40 will do, full advance for the 350 in degrees and 35 degrees for the 500 wouldn't be far away from bang on. Um, now if I turn the engine forwards again, obviously the clock's going to top out. Yeah, we're at the top now. Yeah, and there's no movement left on that. at the top. No, nope. that's the top there. Right. Back up again eight millimeters. One, two, three, Five, six, seven, and finally eight. There we are, eight millimeters before top dead center. Yeah, we're about 33 degrees. So, uh, there we are. I will amend that for what it's worth. Eight millimetres before top dead centre is 33 degrees for the 500 and we've got those figures there, the half inch 12.5 millimetres which does seem a lot but that's what the factory stated 
45 degrees before top, 7 sixteenths or 11 millimetres. We actually had a whisker under that, didn't we? We had about um, 38, 39. Let's be generous and call it 38. And there we go. Once and for all, I'm going to write this lot up tidy and uh, I'll be adding that to the manual. But those are the factory figures and that's how they work out degrees against inches against millimetres. You won't go far wrong with them.